The tenth station. At length, as he arrived at the place of sacrifice, and they begin to prepare him for the cross, his garments are torn from his bleeding body, and he, the Holy of Holies, stands exposed to the gaze of the coarse and scoffing multitude. O thou, who in thy passion wast stripped of all thy clothes, and held up to the curiosity and mockery of the rebel, strip me of myself here and now that in the last day I come not to shame before men and angels. Thou didst endure the shame on Calvary, that I might be spared the shame at the judgment. Thou hast nothing to be ashamed of personally, and the shame which thou didst feel was because thou hast taken on thee man's nature. When they took from thee thy garments, those innocent limbs of thine were but objects of humble and loving adoration to the highest seraphim. They stood around in speechless awe, wondering at thy beauty, and they trembled at thy infinite self-abasement. But I, O Lord, how shall I appear if thou shalt hold me up hereafter to be gazed upon, stripped of that robe of grace which is thine, and seen in my own personal life and nature? O oh, how hideous I am in myself, even in my best estate, even when I am cleansed from my mortal sins, what disease and corruption is seen even in my venal sins? How shall I be fit for the society of angels? How for thy presence until thou burnest this foul leprosy away in the fire of purgatory?' 